five best free task management apps hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you some of the best free task management apps so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first we have ClickUp. This is the one that is really popular. A lot of people use it and it's one of the easiest ones to do this. A lot of the apps on this list are going to be very similar. The key differences are the usability, the UI, and if you're interested, maybe the price. But since we are looking at free apps, we're going to be looking at the features that they provide within the free plan. So let's get into it. So ClickUp, amazing software. We used it in the past. Really great for managing tasks, whether you have a team or person task it doesn't matter it'll get the job done and it's pretty amazing it also has ai capabilities but that is only reserved for the paid members so let me go ahead and log in and show you how you can you know use it so i already have an account so i'm just simply gonna log in over here by clicking on the login button you can sign up it's actually pretty simple and easy so you don't need me to show you that so this is how it looks like all right it's pretty simple the main overall ui is going to be the same on all of them but moving on here on the left hand side you're gonna have all of your main options right so for example here underneath spaces you're going to see all of your spaces this could be your work related stuff your personal stuff your to-do list your you know tasks of the day or whatever you want to go ahead and create it you can create them over here and then within them you can create a list of all the tasks that you want so here you can add like to-do list like go to the gym get your car fixed go to the go get some medicine whatever go for a run whatever you want to add you can add them over here you can switch between different views over here and you can create some sort of automation if you want it also gives you like this little whiteboard or a space and within you can create like a document within this document you can also create further tasks you can create like a habit tracker or a monthly planner whatever you want to do you can do this over here as well which is pretty cool right so here this is like a team resource here if you press the forward slash button it's going to pop up this little drop down menu and in this menu you can pick out all these different options like a checklist table toggle list whatever you want to do you can go ahead and add them over here so pretty cool right so coming back over here underneath tasks right here let's go ahead and add a task like let's go ahead and add uh, you can also add like the template section over here. So if you click on template, you can browse the template over here by clicking on the browse button. Here you can see all of the templates. Currently there are no templates, but here you can see for list, folders, spaces, tasks, docs. Currently nothing over here, uh, which is weird. So I guess we'll just leave it as it is. But uh, here you can add your own tasks, like go to the gym. This can be a task. If you hit enter, it'll save it. You can also add go for run get checked up you know whatever you want to add you can add it over here and as simple as that within those tasks if you click on them you can open up you can add a bunch of different options like you know you can add dates time stamps or time estimates custom fields subtasks checklist time trackers all of those stuff is going to be available over here so it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and move on to the next one which is monday.com monday.com again very popular tool for productivity and for managing tasks over here and it's very similar to ClickUp as well. So I'll show you how it looks like. You can see the difference. All right. So I didn't have an account over here. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'm going to select personal for this one since that's the one that we want and none of this. So we'll just skip all of this and click on continue current i don't really like any of these so we'll just go with task management click on continue and then click on continue there should be a skip button so that we can skip all of this but anyway we'll go ahead and move on and then i'm gonna go ahead and set up my tasks or my list whatever you want to call it and then we'll move on so here we can have status uh notes timeline priority uh whatever so since i this is a personal list. I don't want to have owner over here. Status could be it. Due date could be good and priority and yeah, and notes as well. And then click on next and then task overview, task by status, task by owner, task by due date and overdue task. I think this is okay. Click on next. Then we have table. We could go with the timeline view, a Kanban view, a Gantt view, calendar or cards. Uh, it totally depends on you. I think that either cards or Kanban. Cards are a little bit different. Cards will have all the tasks in their cards and we can see the status due date priority within those uh, cards. Whereas in Kanban, they'll be sorted by status only. So keep that in mind. Timeline is over here where you can see the timeline of it. And then we have the table where we can see all the tables. I think that a calendar view or a table view, these two would be much better. So we're gonna continue with the table view since it's a task. And then here in the task one, simply again, just like click up, we can add all of our tasks like to do go to gym go to run and then click on get started and we should be good to go so here we go all right it's done 
and this is how it looks like right very similar to the other one but a little bit different you have all of your tasks over here at the top you have all of your filters and here you have your view you can change it to whatever view you want here you have some integration automation and these are the to-do tasks and these are the completed tasks as soon as you go ahead and let's say you know complete one you can just simply move them down over here or just simply tick this box and here you can see down below you have all these options you can move it to go ahead and do that you can move it to whatever option you want and also this is if you open up one of these tasks it'll open up similar to the other one here you can add the files updates activity log over here and everything so yeah doesn't seem to be a button to just simply go ahead and click it and that can just simply move the task within the completed section but i think this is over here if you just simply change the status to done it should automatically you know move it over here but if not you can just simply move them later on like that so pretty cool right so uh, there you go this was monday.com moving on we have another one so this was monday.com moving on we'll move on to the third one which is google tasks so if you didn't like monday.com or click up and you thought that was a bit too much a simpler one is google tasks right you can you don't really need to create an account you can create an account on google you can already log in and here you can create your task by just simply hitting the add task button over here you can go ahead and add your task so go to the gym right and you can set the date i think this is okay then you can add another fight i'm actually going to use this to remind myself of ufc 315 so reminder ufc 319 sorry not 315 it's 319 and it is i believe it was on the 15th or the 16th i'll have to check but i think it's on the 16th and it's happening at like i think it's like around 6 p.m so we'll go with 18 and then click on done and that'll be our reminder those are going to be our tasks we can see right here the date and yeah it's as simple as that no need to go ahead and you know do a bunch of stuff you can however you know create new lists you can create lists you can go with you know your own task your personal task go ahead and add like reminder tasks whatever you want you can create a multiple different lists and within them you can create these tasks pretty cool right so yeah pretty cool right pretty simple now speaking of google another cool tool that google has is google notes which is keep notes or google keep and you can use that app for tasks as well so for example you can see right here i got a bunch of stuff over here like you know i don't really need them so i'll just actually delete these notes these are just way too old notes that i have for some brief videos that i was creating so i'll just go ahead and delete them so these are some topics i'll delete that this was i think my netflix password and i have no idea what this is but yeah you can see right here i was using the, it to track some of the tasks that i have right so how to use omegle like some of the videos that i was creating and you can go ahead and add create tasks over here as well so all you gotta do is just simply click on new list here you can add the name of the list over here so and then you can create these different lists over here these could be items these could be your tasks and you can pin them as well and one of the cool things about them is that you can add labels you can make them important you know sort them whether they're important or not you can add reminders you've got your archives over here as well and then you've got your bin where you can see all of them so you can go ahead and delete them and you know import them back whatever and yeah it's actually pretty cool i think people would rather go for tasks and google keep than any of the other ones since they're easy they're free to use they already probably have a google account so they can just simply open the app and start using them and won't even have to go ahead and create an app sync everything and all of that they can just simply go ahead and start using them pretty cool but finally we have todoist this is the last app on this video and it's also free and you can create and sort your tasks over here and let's go ahead and sign up and show you how you can use it so i'm going to continue with google and here it is so here very similar to google tasks and tasks and keeps and other ones you get all of your tasks over here you can sort them by date as well by overview you can see right here you can reschedule them over here on the left hand side you're going to have all of your upcomings filters and labels as well so you can go ahead and prioritize them but yeah overall it's just a good task over here you can create tasks so i'm actually going to create one over here so i check uh the fight going to be on for me the timestamp it's going to be on 17th at i think it's like 3 a.m or something so we can go ahead and add that as well so we can add even time over here so here it should be at 3 a.m yeah so that's when the 
and the prelim starts so i'm going to save that so there we go we now have a task in priority i'll keep it max priority and we can add like a few minutes and over here we can add what we want so here uh, i'll go with 319 over here that looks good so once we added the tags once we've added the tasks we can click on add over here boom we now have a task over here we should be good to go right and these are the upcoming ones over here you can see on the left hand side the upcoming one is over here these are for today so today i don't have any task you can go ahead and add tasks over here just like that but on the upcoming section you can see all of the upcoming tasks over here the overdue ones and everything so pretty cool and it's free to use you can connect your own google calendar to it as well if you want but yeah so these were the top five free task management apps available. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.